Hey there, beautiful. Welcome to Kalana Yoga. My name is Shauna, and I'll be guiding you through today's mini practice. So in today's video, I just wanted to go over a few of my favorite postures to support relaxing our neck and our low back. Now, as with all yoga videos, it's always important for you to decide what works best for you. So feel free to take what works, leave what doesn't, and ask me any questions that I can help you with. I'm always here for you. Okay, so let's begin in a seated position. Now this can be any comfortable seated position. If you're comfortable sitting directly on the floor, that's great. If you prefer to sit on some blocks or a pillow or a cushion, or even on a chair with your feet firmly planted into the ground, trying to keep your knees at roughly a 90 degree angle. Wherever you are, sit tall, sit proud. Roll your shoulders up and back and down. Once again, just like that, forward, up, back, and down. And allow your palms to rest on your knees for just a moment as we center ourselves into our practice today. Engage through your core. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale, invite in even more air. And exhale, release. Final, biggest breath yet. Bring in as much air as you possibly can fit into your lungs. And exhale, let it all go. Beautiful. Blink your eyes open if they were closed. And gently place your right hand next to you on the side of your mat or potentially on the arm of a chair. Inhale, reach your left arm to the sky and feel a nice stretch along the left side of your ribs, reaching up as high as you feel comfortable, maybe even bend the elbow if that feels better. Look up past your fingertips and maybe even allow your right ear to draw down toward your right shoulder. Engage through the core, softly push yourself up to sitting and then reach your left hand down. Inhale, right arm reaches to the sky. Once again, option to keep the elbow bent if that help in, helps open up the shoulder a little bit. Feel the stretch along the left side of your body. Bend as far as you feel comfortable, looking up past your right fingertips, maybe even letting your left ear draw a little closer to your left shoulder. Engage through the core, inhale, gently push yourself up. Beautiful. Now, since we're gonna be working on the neck and the low back today, let's also try a gentle spinal twist. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Bring your right hand to the base of your spine. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, engage through the core and gently start to twist through first the middle to upper half of your spine. So really engaging through the core, paying attention to how this feels, moving slowly. And as it feels good, maybe going a little deeper. If you start to feel any tension through the low back, just stop right there. And maybe even back out just a hair. If it feels good, maybe look over your right shoulder. Inhale, slowly come all the way back to center and then switch sides. Place your left hand at the base of your spine, right hand on your left knee. Inhale, sit tall, squeeze the belly in to protect the spine and slowly begin to twist. Feeling it through your shoulders first and then your middle spine. And then maybe through the low back if that feels okay, but using the abs to prevent ourselves from over twisting. And if it feels okay, maybe start to look over the left shoulder. Always moving slowly, listening to your body. Inhale brings you back to center. Beautiful. Next, let's try seated cat and cow. Place both hands on your knees 
Inhale, roll your shoulders down your back. Lift the collarbone up. Look up, create space through the neck. Exhale, tuck the chin and round the spine. Push your belly button all the way to the back of the room, curving your shoulders forward. Inhale, return to cow. Broaden through the chest, lift through the sternum, make space under the chin. Exhale, seated cat pose. Tuck the chin, round the shoulders forward, round the spine toward the back of the room. One more round, just like that. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, cat pose. Breathe into the space between each vertebrae. And then return back to your seated position. Okay, so next we're gonna do a couple of stretches for your neck. Now our neck is one of our most fragile and important pieces of our body. So we're going to move gently with care and paying a lot of attention to any areas that might feel a little tight. So first, let's just tuck our chin down toward our chest, feeling a stretch through the back of the neck. So really, maybe even close your eyes and really think about lengthening the entire back of the neck, continuing to roll the shoulders down our back, lifting our head high, and then tilting the neck so our chin reaches forward and moving slowly with intention so we don't move too far or too fast. Now, if you sit and use a computer a lot, this might feel like a uncomfortable, familiar position. So let's try the opposite way. Come back to a neutral spine, head gently centered above the neck, and then start to look up, feeling the stretch through the front of the neck and see if you can relax through your shoulders. So if you're feeling any tension here, notice where that tension is coming from and see if it helps to soften through the shoulders. If it doesn't, then maybe we should try a different exercise that I can guide you in next. Beautiful. Slowly return back to a center, a centered head on top of your spine. Next, let's move to the right. So tilt your right ear toward your right shoulder. As always, moving slow with control, trying to reach our left shoulder down to make space through the left side of our neck. Once again, noticing, how does this feel? Are you able to relax your shoulders down? Or do you feel your shoulders tightening because there's too much tension here? Never go too far or deeper than what feels comfortable for you. But try to breathe into that tightness, holding where you are and seeing if you can soften it. When you're ready, inhale, slowly come back to center and then tilt your left ear toward your left shoulder. Now inviting space on the right side of our neck. Again, pulling the right shoulder down away from the ear, moving slowly, paying mindful attention to how we feel, where the tension is coming from. Beautiful and then slowly come back to center. And then let's just practice a really slow neck rotation. So we'll start with our chin reaching downward and then let's move to the left. So tilt our left ear towards the left shoulder, continuing to move, but doing so slowly. And then moving the neck back and then your right ear toward your right shoulder allowing your head to fall forward gently, continuing to move in the same direction. One more round to the left, to the back, to the right, and back forward. And then pause, and then we'll go the other direction. Still slow, to the right, to the back, to the left, and forward. 
one more round just like that right back left forward and then slowly come back up to a seated centered position beautiful now let's take one more look at the low back by practicing our standard cat and cow so join me in tabletop position bring your shoulders over your wrists separate your fingers as wide as you can and stack your knees under your hips squeeze the low belly in and at first try to find a long strong straight spine so a natural straight spine a natural curvature through the spine but preventing any overarching in either direction to begin reach the crown of your head forward squeeze the belly in and up imagine that i'm going to come and sit on your back like a bench and you're trying to prepare for that additional weight so really push down through the fingertips separate the space between the shoulder blades engage that core preparing for the weight maybe pressing down through the shins and the tops of your feet to level out the distribution of your own weight preparing for that extra weight that's going to come sit on your back then begin to relax soften through the belly and find a cow posture begin to look up point your tailbone up roll your shoulders down your back creating space through the belly and the chest exhale cat pose around the spine and tuck the chin push down through the mat and breathe into the space between the vertebrae now if you're feeling any tension through the low back and the and, and really even the upper back this posture is going to really help counteract any of the bad posture that you might be practicing throughout the day whether it's sitting at a desk or even walking when you're not in the right alignment inhale cow pose look up broaden through the chest roll your shoulders down your back exhale cat pose holding this for just a little longer beautiful and then return back to your centered tabletop position next bring the toes your big toes to touch and push your hips back towards your heels find a child's pose now you might find that your knees feel great just where they are your knees are about hips with distance apart because they were just stacked underneath your hips but let's play with a couple different variations to see how that feels on the low back first if it feels okay maybe start to walk your knees together Bring your knees together, centered on the mat, and then push your hips back. Relax your forehead down and relax your forearms down. And notice how this feels on the low spine. In my experience, having my knees closer together rounds my back even more, which invites more of a stretch along the low back. Relax through the neck and the shoulders and the whole upper part of your back as well. With each breath, try to relax through the whole spine, softening into your mat. Beautiful. Slightly begin to push yourself back up to tabletop and then separate your knees wider than your hips if that feels okay. Only moving where it feels good and then push your hips back towards your heels. Now this you might feel, at least in my experience, toward the upper part of your spine more so. So depending on where you're feeling tension in the back, whether it's the low back or the upper back, you might notice a different sensation between having your knees closer together or further apart. 
Once again, relaxing through the arms, just allowing them to rest onto the mat. If you feel like you're putting a little too much pressure on your forehead here, you can always bring your palms under your forehead to create a little pillow. This is going to level the back a little more. So if having your forehead down is maybe too deep of a stretch, consider this variation instead. Another great solution is if you have a block handy, you can place the block underneath your forehead as well. Once again, serving as a little pillow you can really have your arms any way that feels comfortable for you. This posture should be a place to relax and release and feel comfortable. Beautiful. Slowly make your way back to tabletop. Release the block if you've got it. Next, let's practice a few forward folds. So this is really going to extend the, um, the stretching along the low back. So bring your feet up toward the middle of your mat and keep them nice and wide. Unless you've been warming up and exercising before this, you might still feel a little tight in this posture. Keep your hands on the mat and keep a nice bend in your knees. Allow your torso to rest on your thighs. So keep your knees as bent as they need to be so you don't feel like there's too much tension on the back of your knees. From here, try to relax through the low back and try to relax through the neck and your shoulders. See if you can allow your head to feel heavy like the weight is actually lengthening the spine. Option to keep your eyes open here, especially if you have a little bit of a challenge feeling balanced when your head is below your heart. If it feels okay, you can keep your fingertips on the mat or to maybe even deepen the posture a little more, grab opposing elbows. Notice how this extra weight pulls down through the arms and links and lengthens the spine even more. Only allowing your spine to lengthen as deep as you feel comfortable today. Beautiful. Another variation for maybe a neck stretch would be to clasp your hands and place your hands along the back of your head. Noticing if this lengthens the back of your neck in a way that feels good. Alrighty, slowly bring your feet closer together and then tuck your chin as you inhale to roll yourself all the way up to standing. Remembering that you were just upside down for a few minutes, so give yourself a moment to reacclimate. And then Roll your shoulders up, back, and down once again. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me in this short and sweet, simple little guided posture series. Again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate and if you'd like more stretches for these areas or others, please let me know. I'm always looking to make content that's relevant just for you. Thank you so much again. Namaste.